I grew up in Dakar, which is a very cosmopolitan city. But as a boy, I wasn't allowed in the kitchen because in Senegal, cooking is a gender activity. You're starting to see more and more men getting into the kitchen, and those guys are still doing it like in the secret of their private home, you know, they're not really talking about it. So that's how deep it is, you know, it's like a serious cultural thing. I left Dakar, I was 19, and I came to New York. Three days after I arrived, everything that was in my suitcase got stolen, including my money, and you know, I was stuck in New York. I still had my ticket, my return ticket to Senegal, but I decided to look for a job. And my first job happened to be a restaurant. And all this time, my parents still didn't know that this was my new thing. I loved what I was doing, and because just didn't know that how they would take it. But when they found out, you know, they were very supportive. You know, my mom actually was excited to share recipes with me, and now I was the one giving her advice on cooking, so she was really excited. I'm a citizen of two worlds, really. I embrace both cultures, and, and you can see it in my cuisine as well, because both influences, both places are in the plate, you know. Fonyu is an incredible grain that could play the same role for our economies as what quinoa did in Peru and Chile. It's an ancient grain, it's drought resistant, it's, it's not only delicious, but it's nutritious. I can even save a product like Fonyo, you know, by introducing it to the world. And food is a great way to introduce a culture.